Hello and uh, welcome to another Raggy's uh, review. So today we're going to be talking about a brand new tap room that I'd never heard of and brewery. So yesterday, uh, this being Saturday the 25th of May, Um, a new brewery was opened, and I assume that I mean the, the the good chap did say to me that the brewery has been open for a while, but not actually brewing any beer. They've just been you know they've had it for two years, so it must have been, it it must owe them some money you know because I have not seen any beers from this particular brewery, um, so. And here we, here we are today, so as you can see I'm walking down to the brewery there, there it is, Beestonia and uh, yeah it's based in the Ilkeston area, I'm not sure what part of the Ilkeston area, please go on Facebook to, for you to understand uh, whereabouts it's brewed. And that, um, so there, there you go, there's one of the beers, two beers on the bar today, Beastonia Blonde Ale, and then Beastonia Amber Ale, there we go, both cracking beers, got to be honest, the, um, the Amber Ale was um, the king for me to be honest so there you go there's a picture of the place the doorway that was actually took not by me by um, Nigel from Bang the Elephant he was down that neck of the woods so there's their kit so you've got the mash where my thumb is just there you've got the mash tun I think that must be the copper there that's the hot water liquor tank up above so yeah it's a uh, And there's a picture of the bar. So five cast lines. I think it's five. Yeah, five cast lines. Um, five or six. Looks like six keg lines there. And uh, yeah, I mean, we went today um, by a, a very coincidence that we bumped into our. Our friends, the Happy Drinkers, uh, Andy and Angela there, which is funny. They were at Trial Garden Centre. So, not far away from Trial Garden Centre. Um, it's funny how Ilkeston kind of wraps around the Nottingham area. Because um, when we came out, it dragged us over. It, so we came out at the Bilber side of things. Not the not the, the way we went in. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's bonkers how it drags you in and out. But... Uh, yeah, beer was on form, um, cracking little tap room where it is. Um, when we got there, we pulled up, another couple pulled up with, at the side of us, basically. Uh, we both got there about the same time. Um, and, even, and, then, and then our friends, the Apple Drinkers, came. And then even after we went, two more cars came. So every, the, the word is getting out there. And uh, that's fantastic to see. You know, it's so powerful the word gets out there to people um, for everyone you know to come down and support a new brewery um, from to you know be able to pay his bills and all that um, albeit on a Sunday working you know but the more that come down uh, the more he gets himself a bit of a craft beer fridge so yeah in the brewery only at the moment two cast lines on I assume there's going to be more coming on and more keg lines um, as, as soon as he starts brewing more beer. So um, there's obviously there's a coffee machine there. Um, there are a couple of beers in the fridge from Moongazer. Um, I, like I say, I assume at some stage he'll, he'll chat to a few breweries about having their beers in his fridge. Maybe do some collabs with breweries. A lot of good breweries out there who are willing to help give a helping hand to another brewer. 
Um, it's amazing how the brewery trade and, and pub trade is, you know, because if one disappears, then another disappears. And then what happens is if an area becomes not interested and the whole lot disappears and it becomes a void, um, and by, you know, the brewery tap rooms are great because uh, you can have guest, guest cask on, guest keg, do swaps, um, and, as, and, I, and I'm sure if I've heard that you do swaps, you don't pay no VAT on it, because uh, you're not buying it off someone, you, you're swapping the beers. So, yeah, don't, don't quote me on that, I, I don't understand the world of, um, what, you know, that side of things, but I do know it, that sort of thing happens with breweries all the time. Um, you still pay VAT on the beer when you sell it, but you don't. But if you're buying it from um, a swap, a swaps is. I'm sure you don't that way, but um, I may be talking at my absolute backside. But uh, yeah, uh, very interesting future. I think he's done it right. The chap has um, built a mezzanine lay, 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 level, level, level inside the tap room. So that you know, and gaining more space, so you don't need the massive tap room. Just build above, and uh, put put your equipment high up if you need. To, if you can do, if your equipment can be high up, where it's not needed to be moved around all the time, then you should do. You know, um, because then there's no need to keep having lots of different. Uh, levels and you know moving stuff around every time you have the tap room opening which can be a pain for breweries oh. Bye, yeah, that's nice um what can i say fantastic well worth a visit if you get the chance to go over to that part of ilkeston um check out the facebook page uh, I will put details when I put this online. I will put details in the disc and the, disc, uh, the postcode there. Uh, it will drag you in towards past an housing estate, towards what is on the left hand side an industrial area, and on the right hand side, right at the bottom, there's a new concrete slab been laid. I actually went down to them for oh, maybe I'm not shouldn't be on here, so I backed up and parked on the roadside. Um, but yeah well worth visiting um, and go and support a new brewery. Cheers all.